What's up guys? We're at another undisclosed location. This is happening a lot lately, huh? Now this is a sard wing. Actually, it's not. Well, I'll be honest, it's a replica wing. Fight me in the comments if you are mad about this knockoff Chinese replica stealing people's intellectual property or something. I don't know, rant at me, it's fine. So we're aero testing this because not too many people have. If you're serious about downforce and track stuff, this is not the wing that you pick. But there are a lot of guys who do pick this wing because it clamps onto the trunk, it doesn't bolt on. So you don't have to drill holes. It's pretty convenient, especially for us autocross guys who want to be able to take it back off afterwards. We're aero testing it. We're doing that using yarn. I've done a couple of rows on the top face here, and then I've done a long set of them on the bottom. So what we want to do is test this at a couple of different speeds. I want to do about 40 miles an hour, figure what the best angle of attack is for autocross speeds. I'll do 55 to find out highway speeds, normal highway speeds, things like that. And we'll test it again at 75 for higher speed track type stuff. So we're gonna try a few different angles. Super scientific here. So right now we're at zero degrees. The wing is perfectly flat. We're going to do a 30, a 55 and a 75 and see what happens. So what I'm going to do now is change the angle of attack on the wing. So first what I'm gonna do is loosen these bolts, maximize that slot and measure it and see what we get. All right, so the bolts are loosened and we're just gonna nudge it up like that. So let's see what kind of angle this is. Again, using the iPhone level in the same position. Right about eight degrees now. Okay, so we are at maximum angle of attack with the extra hole that I drilled. It's about 20 degrees. 19, 20 degrees. This is a very low speed replication of what was going on at the higher speeds. You want these tufts to be attached to the wing, sort of like this. The air is detaching very low in the wing. And this is, this is exactly what happens at higher speeds. This is too much angle for this wing. So what I wanna do now is dial it back a little bit, see if we can get the air to reattach. Let's dial it back to say 15 degrees and let's see what it does to the air. You see how smooth it gets under here when you flatten out the wing? So that is stalling in a nutshell. Look at the movement. This is the wing stalling. That's a beautiful thing. So even at 15 degrees, we're still getting separation on the bottom side of the wing. So. 12? Let's try 12. 12 sounds good. 12 degrees is already looking better with just this light breeze. You can actually see the difference in attachment just from, just from this light breeze. So my level of understanding of aerodynamics is like that compared to some other people in the industry. So in order to give you guys the best content and give me an idea of what I'm doing, I brought in an expert. His name is Dan O'Donnell. He's from Professional Awesome Racing. You guys may have heard of him. They're known for some of the craziest aerodynamic builds. So, um, Dan, what are we seeing? Hey, this is Dan O'Donnell with Professional Awesome Racing. And I was asked to kind of look at this old tuft video and give some feedback on what I see going on. Pretty cool here that we've got the angle of attack mile per hour all spelled out for us and um, yeah let's look at it and and see what we see so right now we can see here everything is nice and smooth and stable over kind of in this area and a little bit more up, up here out of the screen we've got a little bit more turbulence going on all back in here nice smooth what we would call laminar flow what that indicates is that in this area the airflow is staying well attached to the wing the wing is functioning 
well appear higher not as well it could be the uprights for the wing affecting it and that's always gonna um, disrupt flow a little bit right now wing looks happy healthy the smoother the flow the less drag you're gonna have so yeah at the higher speeds we can notice i mean this is like the perfect everything is just super smooth nothing is pissed off we can see that there is a lot of movement kind of towards the end where it detaches to me that's just an indicator of the higher mile per hour causing more energy to come spill off the wing so it's nice smooth and laminar for the very most part 95 percent of the wing the only difference that we're noticing is just that the mile per hour is faster here next we're at 70 and we can see the same thing nice and smooth a little bit more jumbled here that's going to be an indicator the wings not working as well in these two areas particularly up higher and that's also going to be drag that you're noticing oh, still everything looks nice and good at zero degrees everything is happy i will say one thing that we can note at this point is the air is going to be coming off the rear window kind of like this in this direction even though the wing is labeled at zero degrees at zero degrees in relation to the ground and in relation to the road that it's driving on it's not necessarily in relation to the wind coming off the rear windshield and the roof of the car down so we have good attachment everything is looking good at zero degrees here but the wind is actually probably hitting it at a higher angle maybe five degrees i don't know depends on on the car, the situation, and how well the air is staying attached to the roof line. So that's just something to keep in mind. So even though it says zero degree angle of attack, the wind is actually hitting it at a higher angle of attack. Something to pay attention to when you're working on your own setup. So yeah, let's move forward here. 10 degrees angle of attack. 10 degrees is actually quite a bit for most wings that we can get on the market these days and it's nice and attached then all of a sudden you just see right kind of maybe in this line area it's not as happy as it was at zero degrees you're gonna get way more turbulence considering it's only 40 mile an hour so that's detachment of air on the wing doesn't mean the wing's not working well doesn't mean it's not producing downforce but you are going to get a little bit more drag in my mind everything's working pretty well right under here and then you can see this is a little pissed off right there but seemingly at 55 mile an hour my eyeballs say that the wing is actually a little bit happier maybe it's not dramatic difference but a little bit more attached and everything seems at least down there pretty happy i just noticed these guys down here too it looks like nice slow coming off of the deck lid nothing too wild and crazy 75 mile an hour there's just going to be a little bit more energy in the air and that's why it's getting a little bit more wild kind of in this range but it doesn't mean things aren't working well at 10 degrees angle of attack this wing i would say is, is still doing what it's supposed to do it's just not going to be as efficient lift to drag ratio as it would be at a lower angle of attack here we can see things are pretty good right until the wing starts to turn back upwards on that uh, surface and i think we're starting to struggle for attachment you see how everything is all pissed off here all pissed off here the wing is probably on its very edge of functionality it's probably still making some downforce but a lot of drag is associated with it you might have a little bit little bit more attachment here it seems to be going a little bit past that convex surface same here everything kind of in this range is just pissed off and creating a lot of drag go along with your downforce i want to see that transition yeah now i'd say we're probably past where the working range of this wing is everything <laughs> except for the inlet to the wing it's all jumbled you it may still be working it's probably still producing some downforce yeah i mean the top of the wing up here it's nice and laminar it's still probably doing something but with so much drag associated with it if you're having to crank the wing that much that means you're probably running too small of a wing for this application and we keep in mind too that the air coming off of this is at least a couple of degrees so maybe we're seeing more like 18 degree angle of attack like 20 maybe even most wings that i've seen you know single element that are on the market the working range is 15 at the absolute max so we're definitely above and beyond it at this point at higher speeds like it's almost like you can kind of see every once in a while it attaches and detaches yeah i mean it's still kind of doing its thing here but over here it's just it's it's not working at all yeah here we're at 20 degrees angle attack and it's kind of like pointless even sending the video we still have everything working on the upper part of the wing but the bottom part it's 
completely detached. If you're familiar with wings, the bottom part is what's going to make the most downforce. I mean, the top does a little bit, but lowering of the air pressure beneath the wing is where you're going to get most of your performance. So if that's not working, then you're wasting your time. You need to be going to a bigger wing and run it at a less angle of attack. It's definitely cool to see the transition. Like 15, maybe it was kind of doing something. But 20, yeah, it's, it's a lost cause. I appreciate uh, being sent this video, looking at some wool tough testing. Thanks so much for sending this video and hopefully it is useful for all of our uh, listeners out there. Appreciate it. Super awesome. Thank you, Dan uh, and Professional Awesome Racing for your expert input on what we're seeing. I knew that 20 degrees was too much, but um, it's cool to hear it from your perspective. It looks like this wing starts to become less efficient, uh, you know, over 10 degrees. So we're probably gonna keep it under that five to eight degrees, something like that. It is kind of a cheesy wing. It's not a, a high downforce wing. It's it's no Formula One wing or anything like that. So it is a bit on the cheesy side. We'll keep it mild. I would say five to eight degrees would be probably exactly where we wanna be, you know, for this car's purpose. So I definitely found some value in this. If you run a Sard wing, I hope that you found some value in this as well dan thank you so much for that clip hit the like button hit subscribe lets me know i'm doing cool stuff and uh leave a comment tell me what else uh, you want me to test because i got a lot of yarn so let's do this um leave a comment tell me what i should test next